Hey guys, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. You guys, I am getting ready for the day. I don't know how the lighting is in here. I think it's okay. I don't have my ring light in, but just the light from my bathroom. And since I'm gonna be getting ready, and I just wanted to talk to you for a minute, um, decided to turn on the video um, just to, you know, have a minute to talk to you for a little bit. I haven't been uh, posting lots of videos where you can see my face because I have not been feeling well uh, health-wise. Oh, I'm using this um physician's formula butter bronzer on my skin i like this thing um i always like to buy it especially for like the summer to add some color to my face you know my skin is super like fair and i already put my moisturizer on my skin and all of that so i'm just adding some a finishing touch and some color and I just go all over I also put some cream under my eyes and a moisturizer and all of that you know that good stuff then before before that I wash my face in the shower with the Neutrogena cleanser let me see you want to see I think I've shown it to you but I'll show you Oh, my arm. This one. The Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. This is what I use in the shower. So I'm going to put it back in here. And I did shower with the Dove Summer Care. What's the name? Summer Care Limited Edition. It's like, um, you saw it in the new to me video. If I already aired that, if not, you'll see it soon. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm done. Let me add some here. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing because I'm talking to you. So you guys, um, I have been, my hair is not done because I just showered, so I just put my clothes on. This is a dress, by the way. You've seen me wear this in some other videos. There you go. <laughs> it's a dress from Shane. Um, I only paid like $10 for this dress. I really like it. It's like that on the back as well. And it's super thin and it makes me feel like super fresh in the summer. And I've had it for a while. I think I've had it for a year now. And I have some things that I got from Shane that I have to show you because they have some really good dresses and in the summertime i like to wear a lot of dresses so i put one thing on and then i'm dressed for the day and i don't have to worry about putting a shirt and a short and combining you know this it's not tight it's loose and i don't get all sweaty so you know that's why i like dresses instead of two things you know a shirt and a short I do wear shorts also, you know, if I go to the beach or some stuff like that. Uh, now I'm going to use my, uh, this is a, a brow pencil. It's a Gucci brand. And if you guys have seen my Gucci unboxing, you have seen me purchase all this makeup. And I go over my eyebrow with the pencil. Because if I don't do that, like this eyebrow here doesn't have anything. I'm going over this one and filling in my eyebrow. Because if I don't do that, then you won't be able to see my eyebrow very much. And, you know, I like to accentuate my eyes. Because I think it's the better feature of my face, my eyes. <laughs> So see how you can see this one and this one doesn't have too much of a shape and my eyebrows, I said this before, I don't pluck them 
because I don't get them. This is what I have and you know, I don't have to remove any. And I've been thinking about getting that, um, don't remember the name of that thing that they do in your eyebrows. And it's like a tattoo that you have to do like every six months. But I really don't like tattoos. <laughs> and um, so I don't know. The, the idea of having like nice eyebrows when I wake up in the morning, it's a nice uh, concept. But just the idea of having to go and get something done permanently like that, not too crazy about that. And just as my personal opinion, you guys, I hope you don't take it like, um, you know, it's just my personal opinion. So I rather, you know, go with my pencil and that's it. I have friends that have that permanent um, eyebrows and the permanent eyeliner as well. Um, I just haven't gotten there yet. I don't know if at some point I'll change my mind when I get maybe a bit older and do it, but for now this is enough and um, you know, it's okay. So there you go. Now you can see my eyebrows and it may be too heavy maybe, but that's okay. Once I put some eyeshadow on my eyes, because like I said, I like to, oh, look at this thing. Look how beautiful. It's a Disney princess. Um, it's like a pencil case. And I received this from one of my YouTube friends. I think it was Ibarra that she sent me this a while ago. And look, I put my brushes in here. Some of my brushes. I actually put them here when I went to Chile last year because I wanted to bring some of my brushes, you know, so I have like different brushes here for like different kind of things, big brushes and smaller brushes and, you know, for my eyeshadow and stuff like that. And I just kept them here when I came back from my trip because I thought they, it was so nice, you know, to have them here. So I'm going to put some eyeshadow. I'm going to use some nude colors that I usually like to use here. Nude. <laughs> and I'm just going to go see how that's what I use the most. And I should have, should be using my Hello Kitty or something, you know, something nice. But uh, this video, it was not planned. It was just a spur of the moment. You know, I was getting ready and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do and get ready with my video. So I haven't, you haven't seen my face in forever and I haven't done a uh, get ready with me in a while. You guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is just what I do. It's really just whatever, you know, I just throw some stuff on my face. Uh, no rhyme or reason. No, I don't use highlighters and blushes and stuff like that. I don't have time for that. My makeup is basic and it's super simple. That's it, that's all I do. And I'm not like retouching my makeup all day long. I don't do that either. Okay, so if you are expecting me to do um, a makeup class here, <laughs> This is not your channel to find that. You know, I'm just using this color here because I don't have very many left. It's just like a natural color, this one, this light one. And I'm just going over my eyelid just to, you know, add some brightness, let's say. Now, um, I like the brownish color also, and I have a little bit left in this one here. This palette is one of those cheap palettes that you can find at Marshalls and I think I paid like six dollars for this or maybe ten. I don't know. No more than ten. I have one of those fancy ones that I rarely use because you know I only use it for like special occasions and it's uh, this color. So it's a naked one. I'll have to do a video with that. I think I've used it like twice. So yeah. Uh... 
so i'm just going over here on like the crease of my eyelid is that how you call it i think and i'm just putting some of that dark color there i don't know if you can see okay let's do the same on the other side can you see a difference i think so you can see something darker here right okay now you guys i was i was telling you that i wasn't feeling um well health wise right okay so um i have a lot of like issues with my body like diseases and things um i have as you know a handicap permit because i have issues with like my legs and i can't walk fine and a lot of stuff well, I've been also going to the, um, I have a pending appointment with rheumatology, but I also have um, an appointment this week to discuss a result of my MRI on my shoulder, this one, the right shoulder. And I have a tear on my shoulder as well as I have tears on my hips. So I think the orthopedic is going to tell me that I need to have surgery on my shoulder as well. And that's really um, not good for me because, you know, I'm a crafter, you know, that I love to craft. And I have this big shot machine that uh, you can use for die cutting and I cannot use it because my arm hurts so much, you guys. I also have carpal tunnel. So carpal tunnel, oopsie, gives me issues also on my hands, my wrists, my arm, and it goes up to like the back of my neck. So I can't, you know, it's just, it's been one thing after the other and I have not been feeling well. It's my makeup case. This is also in one of my witchy unboxing videos. You guys, I'm gonna link some videos below for you to see if you haven't checked them. And if you like makeup and stuff like that, you know, this is my witchy makeup case. Uh, I have this, it's not Gucci, this is just um, an eyeliner that I got from Marshalls a while ago. It came in a nice box. It had like some ice cream on the outside of the box. It was on sale and I grabbed it. And it's just, you know, like a flat eyeliner like that and it's black. And I like to go with this on the bottom, like on the bottom of my uh, eyes here. You know, like I said, I like to accentuate my eyes because I think that that's what I have the best on my face. Pretty much the only beautiful thing in my whole body, <laughs> my eyes. So I feel like I'm falling apart. So, you know, even though I feel like no good, I try to like do my makeup and stuff and just to maybe make me feel a bit better. Um, so that's it. See, I put some there. Now you can see my eyes pop a bit more. Now I'm gonna get my eyebrow curling thingy. I think I have it down here. Oh. And let me clean it. I'm gonna clean it a bit. Because you're supposed to clean this, you know, if you have like, um, Residue of like mascara, I have to clean it. Hold on. Sorry guys, Augustin was looking for me. I didn't tell him I was gonna be making a video because I didn't know. So um, I think this thing I got from Dollar Tree, it's really good, you guys. I've had it for like years. I think I got it from Dollar Tree. It's pink. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. Oh, did I, I think I showed you, right? That I use a thing to put on the base of my eyelashes and that makes your eyelashes grow so they get longer. I have it here. I'm going down to my um, cabinet here. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay, this one. It's called Flash and it says Eyelash Serum. This thing, I got it from Amazon a while ago. And I put it on like the bottom of my eyelashes and my eyelashes are super thin and super like light color. So I have to use like a really dark mascara for them to pop so you can see them. 
And recently, you also saw this in a new to me. I got this from Target and it's called Maybelline New York Green Edition Mega Mousse Mascara. And I think it's called Green Edition because it's vegan or whatever. So it was $6 and I got it from Target and it's been working, I've been using it. So let's do this thing here, right? So I'm gonna, this is really um, a good tool. I remember when I was a teenager, I had like friends in like high school that used a spoon to curl their eyelashes. Have you seen that, you guys? I'm talking in Chile, maybe not here, but maybe you heard about it. Um, you know, you can use a spoon if you don't have an eyelash curler and curl your eyelashes. Many years ago, I used to go for like eyelash extension and I used to pay like, the first time you go, the first time they do it, you pay like $150 and then every time you go for like a filling, you pay like 75 and that's that's how much I pay. Now we're gonna use this. And they look so nice and natural. I didn't even have to put mascara on them because they were dark enough so you can see them and she used to put a lot. Um, but the first day that like I could go for my filling or whatever, that night I would go to sleep and then in the morning I would wake up and see a lot of eyelashes on my pillow, you guys. So there was a point where, you know, I got tired of just going, like she did it on a Friday, Saturday, I would, I would wake up with lots of eyelashes, they would fall off. And then the following week, because she didn't work on Sunday, I would have to go and she would have to put more eyelashes. So I got tired of just doing that, kept going there for that. It didn't work for me, my eyelashes are too thin, so they just keep falling. So this works, this makes them grow. And when I apply this on them, you can actually see them better. So I don't know, since I don't have my ring light here, I don't know, I think you can see them. Can you see them come to life? I think you can. So, yeah, if the weather is nice, here is finally getting to feel like summer. See, can you see? Yeah, you can see them right there. So yeah, this mascara is really good. I need to repurchase my Gucci mascara. This one it says Gucci right there. Um, it got dried, so I have to buy me a new one. And since I didn't have it anymore, that's why I got this one. But I'll have to order it. I have to sit down and do that. I've been just focusing on my kids lately. Augustine, you know, is doing homeschooling. And that's a lot of work. And I have to um, work on reports and things like four times a year or so. And just to write the reports takes a lot of time and I have to send the stuff to her and, you know, it's like if I was this teacher, so I have to write stuff. And now at the end of June, I don't know when this video is going to air, but at the end of June, I have to do the final report. So I'm like super busy writing that down. And also my son Adolfo is, um, a, he his school year ended at college and he's gonna be doing an internship in Long Island. His um his aunt, his father's sister, she is an associate, I think. She's an associate of the company. So she's one of the big ones in the company. She's an engineer. Like everybody else in my in his family and in my family my brother he's an engineer he's a computer engineer and he's a really big deal he's a really smart guy he's younger than me like 15 years no 12 years 12 years younger than me um so yeah my brother is very very smart and he's a computer engineer so like that's his degree. He went to college for computer engineering. And 
he's one of the good ones. He's so good that even uh, Facebook wanted to hire him. You know, he's that good. Um, we'll talk about that in another video though. And my ex-husband's family, they are all engineers also. So you can imagine that when Adolfo was going to finish high school, his father, of course, wanted him to be an engineer. His father went to um, university, a college here in Long Island. Not in Long Island, in was it Queens, Brooklyn, the Maritime, uh, New York Maritime College. And he's a mechanical engineer, I think. So he wanted our son to be an engineer also, and Adolfo did not want that. But his, um, his aunt from his uh, father's side, she's a civil engineer, I think, and she was in the building of the Freedom Tower, the new building in New York City. And Adolfo's grandfather, my ex-husband's father, he was also a civil engineer and he was in the building of the Twin Towers many years ago, many years ago. So yeah, and then his other uncle, he's an electrical engineer and his other uncle is another computer engineer. So they wanted him to be an engineer, but he's not, I'm doing finance, but he's uh, still working uh, today at the company that his aunt, oh, this is pink, we're not doing pink. His aunt works, but in the um, finance department. And they are going to be paying him $30 an hour. It's really good for an internship, I think, right? So I want to do, I think I want to do like a lip liner, but I don't have my lip liner in front of me here. I have two big things full of, let me see if I can move this without dropping the camera because I put you on top of one of those things. <laughs> Look, this thing is full of lipsticks and you've seen that. I think I did a collection. I have a series of collection videos and I think you've seen that. All those um, lipsticks and all those things. And I have you on top of another one of those same ones sitting <laughs> my phone. I'm going to use this thing because I don't have, I'm going to stop looking for stuff. And I'm going to use this maybe to go over my lips and do like a, like a lip liner thing. I have lip liners. I have to just... Next time I do a get ready with me, I'll prepare for it. This was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, so my son Adolfo is, um, is working in New York City having an internship and I hope it's going great I haven't heard from him yet this is not working because this is supposed to be for my eyebrows I don't think I see anything happening right Have my bird with me here in the bathroom. <laughs> there, I don't know. I think maybe a little bit. So we are not going to do the pink because I'm wearing orange. Let me show you the other colors that I have here in my makeup case. These are all witchy lipstick. This one is this. This one, it kind of looks red, but it's more like um like a lip balm. It's like transparent it just gives your lips a bit of tint i like this one this one is like a more nude color so especially when i do like my eyes i make my eyes pop i like to do like a muted color on my lips that's how i like to at least do it i have another one here this one it's also a witchy lipstick And this one is a red one. This one is red. What I like about these lipsticks, 
they are so good you guys i mean they're not expensive they are like i don't know like 40 dollars maybe maybe less i mean it can sound a lot for like a lipstick but you guys if you buy one and if you wear it you put it on your lips you don't feel anything it's like you have nothing on your lips it's not sticky your lips are not getting like stuck together and you're getting like residue over here when you talk or anything this is worth the money so i'm telling you this is not a sponsored video for the gucci makeup but you guys when you pay that much money for a lipstick, it pays off. It's really good. So I'm gonna use this one, the nude color. There you go. I like that. I already brushed my teeth and all of that stuff, okay? Now, I don't know which uh, perfume I'm gonna wear today. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this Flash from Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo. This smells really good. I haven't, haven't been wearing this lately. I've been wearing, and this is out now. <laughs> I've been wearing this Juicy Couture. And this perfume was given to me by my son years ago he every year for mother's day he used to give me this perfume one year i had so many and i told him to not give me more of these perfumes because i had so many i guess he liked the bottle or he liked the smell on me or something but he kept giving me the same perfume and it smells so good and lately i've been wearing this for like three months straight and look it's almost out so i'm not gonna wear this today and I have the little bottles also. They usually come with like a little thing. I think this is one of them. I have a few. I have like two over there. And so uh, maybe I could wear the Witchy Bloom today since I have all the Witchy makeup I did with you. Maybe I'll wear this. This smells really, really good. I have the little one also for like the... I have to clean my makeup case. Why is this dirty? This is the same... Gucci Bloom, it's a roll-on, and I carry this in my um, in my makeup case. So, you know, if I'm outside and I want to put some on, this is, again, the Gucci Bloom. I'm going to wear this today. And I'm going to put some. Okay, that's it. I got my husband for Christmas, not this past Christmas, the Christmas before uh, Gucci for guys. Let me see, he should have it here. Hmm. Where is it? Uh, here. <laughs> you guys, you fell. I told you I have you in front of this thing. Hold on a second. Let me put you back. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I grabbed you before you hit the floor. This is the one that I got my husband. It's the Gucci Guilty. It's for guys. It smells really, really good. Oh, yeah, it smells really good. And this past Christmas, I gave him this Polo one because it was a smaller size and he could carry it with him when he travels. So we like perfumes okay now i'm gonna put some of this thing the bronzer bronze coconut coconut water i love this thing and i put it on my skin especially i should have done this before i put my dress on right but i put this on my skin and it makes me look like i'm tan and i'm not it's just fake tanning you know, I haven't been to the beach and I really like wearing uh, dresses in the summer, like I said. And if I don't put some of this on, I'd be so pale, you guys, so pale. And I don't want to look so white on an orange dress, right? So yeah, I'm going to put some of that there. Especially because my face, since I put bronzer on my face, I don't want my face to be white 
or bronze on my body not being the same, right? Anyway, now uh, I, I'm thinking I am going to be wearing flip-flops today because it's hot. So I might wear this flip-flops. As you can see, they have like a little jemmies. This is metal, like jemmies. These are some flip-flops. What's the brand? It says made in Italy. I got this from Marshalls. It says they are nine and a half, nine and a half. And here it says made in Italy, but you cannot see it. And I don't know how much I paid for this, but I love these flip-flops. I do not like um, those flip-flops that are rubber. No, these are like this kind, plastic on the bottom. And since I'm gonna wear those silver flip-flops, I think I'm gonna wear this earrings. And these are new, I've never worn this before. This were a gift from my cousin in Chile she sent them with my mom and I've never wore them so I think I want to wear this look how beautiful so if they are silver they match my shoes right so I'm gonna put those to match the silver shoes the silver flip-flops you guys do that when you um you coordinate your shoes or your clothes like you know i'm wearing this ring and it's silver and i was in between those earrings or these earrings here look at this okay i'm gonna put one in each ear and you're gonna tell me which one you like okay and then i'm gonna read your comments look those are super cute too. I don't know where I got this from. I don't know if one of you guys sent it to me or my mom gifted it to me or who gave them to me. But I know this came from my cousin. And yeah, look, so I don't know which one. I'm gonna put one in each ear and then I'm gonna read your comments. And then I'll, whichever one has the most pics, I'm gonna keep on and I'm gonna remove the other one. And then I'll put pictures on my community post. So now, since I have a silver, earrings i have to wear my silver watch right uh, i think i did a collection also of my watches a while ago you want to see it take a look at my collections um videos i got this from marshall's many years ago it's a michael kors watch there you go i used to wear this when i used to work a lot it was a silvery one with everything, with all my scraps. And at that time when I bought it from Marshalls, it was $2.25. See, it says Marshalls, Macy's. It says there, Macy's. $2.25, that's how much I paid for this watch. In silver. Lately, I've been wearing my gold one. My gold one. It's beautiful. But this one, doesn't have battery, look, it says 10 to three, so 250. So that thing is not moving. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put it in my wrist and I'm gonna go to the um, battery place at the mall and they will replace it and then it'll be working. But if I don't put it on my wrist, I'll totally forget. You know, you guys, I tried to, um, have you been to those places where you can sell your clothes and your stuff like Plato's Closet or I have another one here at the mall. And I brought one of my watches. I don't know if it was the gold one or this one. And they were going to give me like $15 for my watch. And I have it in like the box and everything. I even have like the links that you can, that they removed when I bought it and that you can add, have everything. Even the book that it came with, with how to take care of your stuff and everything. And she said $15 and I'm like, $15? I'd rather keep it for myself. Yeah, I thought, you know, she was going to say at least $50 for the watch. 15 you guys, 15 with the box and everything. I'm like, 
forget it. I'd rather keep it, you know? So yeah, I didn't sell it. But yeah, I also have this. My cousin also sent me this. This is a brand it's called Bimba y Lola. It's a Spanish brand from Spain, a designer, and she gifted it to me for Christmas with this earrings and some other earrings. And I've never worn it before, and I have to remove the um, thing. It says Bimba y Lola. See, it's a bracelet. And it has um, a heart, and it says Bimba y Lola. It says the brand. This is really expensive jewelry, you guys, that she gifted me. This. Um, so I'll have to cut this and wear my bracelet since I'm wearing silver today. Okay? And I think that's going to be it for this video. It's probably a long video, you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe I should put this on my lips lock. My mom gifted me this when she was here. It's from Victoria's Secret. It says, plump me up. You put this on your lips and you feel like they are on fire. They are like, <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to plump up your lips and they are like the same color. So I can put this over it maybe a little bit. Let's try it. Okay, I don't feel anything yet because I put it over the other lipstick. So maybe it's not going to work, but yeah. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, you guys, and for spending time with me here getting ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, there are a lot of things that I'm going to tell you in another video because I don't want to talk to you face to face like this because I don't want to start crying and I ugly cry, so I don't want you to see that. So I'd rather just talk to you while you're watching something else and I'm talking and then I'll tell you because I've been through a lot this past few weeks. You guys, I'll tell you soon. Okay. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. See you soon. Mwah. Bye. Those are those earrings. And these are the other ones. Look at that. Which ones you like the best? And this is the makeup. The makeup I did with you guys. Super basic makeup, you guys. I told you I'm no makeup artist, but I think it looks cool, right? You let me know in the comments. This is the watch. I have to go get the battery. And this is the bracelet. There you go. Okay, you guys. I love you. Bye.